And welcome back to our week six press conference. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I know there are a few general managers out there. Mark Bespachenko, who is not a big fan of me doing these press conferences, apparently, because I'm 0 and 4, about to be 2 and 4. But that's all right. You know, uh, always going to be some people who don't like what your franchise is up to, and we understand that here. Uh, I, I think it's real fun to do these. I hope more of you guys do these. I know when. When Mike and Mark did his, I thought they were pretty fun. And welcome back to our week six press conference. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I know there are a few general managers out there. Mark Pespachenko, who is not a big fan of me doing these press conferences, apparently, because I'm 0 and 4, about to be 2 and 4. But that's all right. You know, uh, always going to be some people who don't like what your franchise is up to, and we understand that here. Uh, I, th I think it's real fun to do these. I hope. More of you guys do these. I know when, when Mike and Mark did his, I thought they were pretty funny and pretty cool. And then we also did them in our fantasy baseball league with Stoltz and Schmelzer and Nataro, and they were funny as well. So hopefully you guys do them. I'm going to try and do a weekly one as long as time permits, regardless of if I win or lose, even though Mark thinks it's, quote, gay and uh, doesn't think I'll do them if I lose. So let's get on to what happened today. Wow. I know Mike beat me. Three times last year, but that is in the past, and today was about revenge. He actually said, quote, your team is brutal. Doesn't look like that, Mike. Looks like I took it to you pretty hard today. Uh, other general manager, Tom Steen, even coming out and saying, you played great defense on Altman. Never seen any D like that, except for the time the D I played last weekend. Fair enough, Tom's doing a great job playing some defense on his team, and uh, Looking like he's the Dan Quinn of the ball club over there, making sure that teams don't do pretty well against him. So let's move on to how I think my team did today. And uh, luckily, I have uh, the results right here in front of me. Dustin Hopkins. Again, Mike, can't thank you enough for that trade. Now that Charles is out, luck looks like shit. It looks like I'm the clear winner of that deal. And I couldn't be happier that um, Hopkins is just balling out. Again, my boy Carson Palmer. Have him in all three of my leagues. Just killing the league. Crushing it, putting up about 18 points a week. Um, Got to do something about Brandon Cooks. Not going to lie, um, I'm going to offer you guys some trades with him because he sucks and I need something else for him. But he might have to ride the bench next week. Pretty happy with Landry coming out of the bio with a touchdown. Wasn't expecting that. Um, and, you know, Richard Rodgers, RR as I called him this week, in, our, in our, one of our techs here, not doing too hot today. Probably drop him next week. But looking forward to what comes in the next few weeks. I know we got Jeff Forzak's team next week, which had an amazing day today. Not going to lie, I thought that was going to be a clear uh, put in the, the win record, and uh, I was going to move on to three wins for, for next week. But I got to definitely double think that one. Jeff has a good team, and uh, they're, they're looking real good over there after today's performance. I think I'm going to get a little bit lucky with the guys that he has on buys. Uh, back to our matchup here, Mike Altman saying that uh, Three-line quote, my wide receivers struggled. That was it. Reached out for comment. Didn't have much to say. Clearly wasn't happy with what's going on there. Um, and actually, an anonymous general manager has said he, Mike Altman is on the hot seat after having a, what looked like an awesome team a few weeks ago and just tearing it to the ground with stupid trade after stupid trade. Um, wondering what's going on over there with their reporters, their fan base, uh, and, and see how long Mike Altman's going to even make it through the, the year. Over there, because right now, I mean, that team is in an utter climb to the bottom. They are just falling rapidly. Uh, Mike Allman needs to make some moves and pick pick up what's going on there. Uh, a few other notes around the league here. Not sure how much you guys have been paying attention, but Eddie Lacy does not look good. Uh, this is going to piss Mark off, but that's what fantasy is all about. I got pissed at him a few weeks ago, and it's his turn to get pissed at me. Um, personally, on a scale of one to ten, realistically, I should say. I would probably be at a 5 if I was on a rattled meter. So I don't think you should be too rattled. Again, it's only week 6. He's a hell of a player. But Mark, sticking to his guns. Rattled 0. That's what he said like going into this week, is that he's not rattled at all. At all. And i got to respect that. Um, I personally would be a little bit rattled. I've talked to a few other general managers who'd say they'd be rattled as well. But Mark is sticking to his guns, and hopefully that works out for him. I know he's going to have an awesome matchup the rest of tonight, as well as going into tomorrow. Um, a few other quotes that I, I heard around the league is that um, uh, Jeff is coming out and saying that if he loses the Zach's team after this awesome lead that he has, that drastic measures will be taken. 
as well as that might include murder. So we should certainly keep an eye out for Jeff and almost root for him to win this week. A few other comments I noticed throughout the week. Um, Justin, great pickup with, with Blake Bortles. Had a great day. Um, you're probably doing your fantasy basketball draft right now. I don't even know if you've paid attention to the league. I tried reaching out for comment and uh, no response. So hopefully Justin figures out what's going on on their team over there. Um, I think that's pretty much what I have for quotes. Might just do a freestyle here and, and see what's going on around the league. Um, Mark and Petrie in a pretty good battle. Excited to see how that plays out with this Patriots game happening right now. I think I'm missing the first quarter. And then uh, Mark also has Jordan Matthews tomorrow night, so the Eagles are, are hopefully turn around their program there. That might be good to monitor. Again, feels great seeing Altman only put up 50 points with luck. I mean, unless he goes for six touchdowns while I'm recording this video, I think I got the victory there. And then we have uh, the Jeff matchup is great. I think Moncrief... Uh, could put up 14. I don't think he will, but I certainly think he might. And then uh, moving down towards the bottom, at least on the app here, would be Tom versus Jamie, um, the classic, you know, going back to our final last year. Not really sure what happened to Jamie's team this week. Last week I, I was pretty high on them. I thought they were going to have a good season, and they still might. But, Jamie, you, you certainly should look into making some moves there. Randall Cobb not even putting up four points. Uh, Julio Jones, which – he had a good amount of yards, but nine points there is certainly not what you're looking for. And um, Frank Gore off to a good start. I guess he has four yards in the first ten seconds, it looks like. So that's great, Jamie. Um, definitely see if he can get you some points because you're going to need it. Uh, Jim. Jim's looking like a great team. Kind of pissed off. I think I was talking to Jeff about this. Did not think Jim would have as good of a team. Um, but then again, he only takes his guys from two teams, and they're both undefeated right now. So that's looking like a great strategy. Um, and Justin, um, good week this week. Not bad. Um, actually respectable. Not embarrassing. So there's that. Um, but a again, you know, real happy here at the People's Owner franchise. We're happy with the way things are going. We think we have a good chance to get to possibly 4-4. Four and four. And what's also great is that aside from Jim, there's no clear-cut uh, dominant team from second on down. It looks like the playoff spots are going to be maybe some 7-6, seven 6-7 and six, six and seven records. So it looks like everyone but Justin is still in the playoff hunt here. We're excited to move into Week 7. Good luck to everybody, and Mark, fuck you for not liking this.